the Skia Sunray copy box is light source and negative holder combined for scanning analog film with a digital camera. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria, and I love to shoot film. But shooting film in the 21st century means that you almost always have to get your negatives digitized as an all analog workflow with an enlarger like the one on my right is usually not sufficient as you have to deliver images to the client in a digital form for social media and so on. So scanning film with a digital camera is a viable alternative nowadays and it's essentially a two-stage process. In the first stage you capture the analog material with a digital camera. Usually you use a macro lens on your digital camera and some sort of reproduction stand to capture the illuminated film down below. And in the second stage, the negative or positive in case you shot slide film has to be adjusted for final use. It is the first stage of the process where tools like the Skia copy box come into play. They provide illumination for the film material and also they hold the film material in place. Both of these functions are absolutely critical for getting a good result on which you can work on later in post-production. So let's take a look at the Skia Sunray copy box and how it actually performs in real life. The copy box actually consists of two parts and to reveal the light source, this piece over here, the negative holder has to be removed. Under this piece of acrylic, there is an LED panel, which acts as the light source. The acrylic over here acts as a diffuser. And what I can say right away is that the illumination is very, very even, which is obviously quite important because otherwise you see lighting differences in the scanned film material. The second important factor a light source for camera scanning has to provide is the color spectrum. You actually want a light source that covers the whole color spectrum. This is especially important when digitizing slide film or negative films. If the CRI value, which kind of acts as a measurement for color accuracy, is too low, the results won't be very good. The Skia copy box has a CRI value of 96, which is good. Of course, 100 would be even better, but in practice, you can safely assume that you get enough of the full spectrum of the light to digitize negatives and positives. I myself didn't have any issues because of the CRI value at all. Besides uniformity and color accuracy, brightness is very important for a light source used for digital camera scanning. Because the brighter the light source is, the better as you can use smaller apertures and faster shutter speeds. Let's take a look how bright this copy box actually is. So as you saw right now, it's very bright. It's actually bright enough to digitize negatives with the camera set to ISO 100, aperture of f8 and 1 25th of a second. That is really exceptional. Most light sources aren't that bright. The high power output of this light source kind of creates a little issue because if you leave a negative in the holder, it heats up and it tends to plop. So if you are working in the darkroom, you know that certain enlargers also have that if the negative heats up, it can jump in and out of focus. So just be aware of that issue 
and keep in mind that you might have to refocus the scanning camera to compensate for this issue. The Skia Sunray box offers three film holders. There is the film holder on the right for 35 mm film. It can be reversed. So you can put mounted slides in there. The other one on the left here is for 120 film, medium format. And as you can see here are four locking screws. And when they are unscrewed, the masking area can be adjusted. So either for a 6x6 negative, 6x7, 6x9, so on. What I also really like about both holders right away is that they cover the illuminated surface very nicely. There is no stray light going into the lens and potentially causing reflections, which might reduce contrast and sharpness in the final scan. So they are designed very well. I will show you how they mount on the box. I'll take the 35 millimeter holder. There is a little cutout and the holder just slides in there. I've prepared a test negative to demonstrate how the film goes through the film holder. So, I'll turn it on really quick. There is almost no resistance when moving the film through the holder. So in practice, this means that you can scan a whole roll of film pretty easily. Also, the film is not in contact with the metal holder on the image area. It is just in contact here on the sides. So the risk of scratching the film is pretty minimal. The downside to this type of holder is of course that there is a little bit of space and movement so potentially the film might not sit as flat. This is not a big issue with 35 millimeter film but when mounting 120 film there can be slight inaccuracies and I recommend focusing each frame of the 120 film separately. When I first got the copy box I was pleasantly surprised by how well this device is made. The exterior is made out of bamboo, the holders are made out of metal, very precise fit of both parts. It is actually very surprising especially given the price tag of around 250 300 US dollars. The Skia Sunray copy box is indeed a compelling option for a light source and a negative holder. The highest end competitor on the market is considerably more expensive. So I'd even go as far as to state that the Skia copy box for about 30% of the price compared to the highest end solution gets you 70% of the performance. If you are digitizing tons of negatives and want the highest reliability in terms of negative flatness and you might even want higher CRI numbers, then you might not choose the copy box. But if you are an analog photographer looking for the best value, still professional option to digitize your negatives, then get the copy box. It is really a good device. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and following me on Instagram. See you next time.